First on Fox tonight, a number of football games all across Middle Tennessee tonight likely began with a prayer, but the ACLU wants to see that Southern tradition come to an end. The organization says too many schools are violating the First Amendment with this pregame prayer. Fox 17 Sky Arnold joins us live from Hendersonville at the game there tonight. Sky. Well, guys, they didn't have a pregame prayer here at Beach High tonight, but the school district is one of 135 across the state that received a letter like this from the ACLU this week. Week, reminding them that organized school prayer is still prohibited. Come on, right there, right there. Butch Norton has been cheering Beach on since his son played here in the 80s. Yeah. Back then, the pregame was a little different. A preacher of some sort would be up in the loudspeaker and he'd have an open prayer. Two Supreme Court decisions later banned organized prayer at public school games. Religious activity at public schools is rampant in this state. But the ACLU's Hetty Weinberg says there are still schools doing it anyway. It's why she sent out this letter to nearly every public district in the state, reminding them that organized prayer isn't allowed here. This is all about religious freedom, and it's all about ensuring that people have the right to decide for themselves if, when, and to whom to pray. We found plenty of parents at this game who don't like the prayer ban. And most people consider themselves Christian, but we're going with minority instead of the majority. Butch Norton is among them. As he still misses the old pregame prayer. It's empty. They're, they're, you can feel the emptiness of it. You know, you, you can just feel that there's something not there. These letters really in hopes of preventing any future legal action that it might have to file otherwise. And it does say a couple of other reminders on this topic. The ACLU says personal prayer is fine. Also, it says moments of silence are fine, just not organized prayer through the school district. We're live in Hendersonville, Skyarm, Fox 17 News.